Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got a bunch of topics to go through, so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Like, subscribe, like good stuff. But let's get straight into it. Starting off with Chelsea are set to back Tuchel as he targets Kunde, Vardial, Glaise and Bremer, also on the list, and their tentative interest in Sterling and Christopher and Kunku. Now, this, if this shortlist is correct from Jacob Steinberg, who does get a lot of things correct, to be fair to him, Kunde, absolutely we need to get. Guardiola, I think that would be a good signing. Obviously, we need centre backs. So that's another good one. Gleison Bremer, now I'm not too familiar with him, so we'll take a look at him in one second. Um, and then there's tentative interest, so we're not too sure if we're going to go in for it. But Sterling, as in Raheem Sterling of Man City, which is not really one I think I'm too interested in. And Christopher Nkunku. Of course, he was a teammate of Timo Werner's when they were at uh, RB Leipzig, I believe it was. So, potential link up there if we're going to keep Timo. Maybe he's been brought in as a, you know, he's a good goal scorer and stuff like that as well. But also uh, coming in to link up with Timo and maybe get a bit of that going. So, of Gleison Bremer, I'm not too familiar with him. So, let's take a look at some of his stats. You can see here, 25 years old, pretty tall. Um, plays as a defender across the entire back line. His strengths are positioning and ball interceptions and has no outstanding weaknesses. So you can see here over this little um, graph, 91 defensive and, and 85 tactical. So this guy is, if you're looking at sort of, you know, FIFA rating types, that's based on his real life stats, but this is showing a very good um, a player. You're looking at his heat map here, he plays a lot through sort of across the entire back line, could play in a back three fairly comfortably is what that shows me. Um, stats, 33 appearances, 33 starts, uh, got three goals this season, one assist up here, eight clean sheets in uh, Torino, I believe it is, yes, yeah, Torino he plays for, and then these uh, numbers here, about 74% successful dribbles, so good with the ball, 84% um, total duels won, uh, 48, sorry, not too impressive there, 50% ground duels and 47% aerial, so looking at his individual stats, not incredibly impressive there. Um, compared to other players we've seen, and seven yellow cards. And then looking over on this side, in the last 12 months in the Serie A, average rating of 7.13, so that's a very good rating. Had a couple of injury stints here, so, you know, not ideal, but more than acceptable. And overall, his average ratings, as you can see, month to month are very solid. So doing well in a team in Torino that aren't, you know, the best team in the league, so you have to respect that they did well against AC Milan in this game. He got a very good game. And of course, AC Milan um, are current winners. So overall, my opinion of him is if Tuchel wants him, as I've often say these days, back Tuchel. And I think that is what the uh, new owners are going to do. But very exciting player. It looks like he's capable of slotting into this Chelsea team alongside potential Guardiola, Kunde, depending on how many of these players we actually end up getting. But then we've got reports coming through saying that the new Chelsea owners want to take a more strategic and data-led approach to their recruitment, such as in place at clubs like Liverpool, and have pledged to invest 1.75 billion in Chelsea over the next 10 years. We knew that second part, but I like what they've said about the Liverpool-style approach. They have big ambitions in the transfer market, is what's being told through BBC Sport. So, you know, talking about Liverpool's recruitment, some Liverpool fans have absolutely over the years said FSG don't spend enough, they take money out of the club, Yada yada yada. However, look at the kind of players they're signing. They're planning, signing players like Luis Diaz, getting it done in January with not too much competition on him, signing him for a very decent price. And look at the kind of player he is. He's a solid player that fits exactly what the manager needs and wants out of his team. That's what they're looking to do with Thomas Tuchel at the helm of it. And I think this. I know we had a very good era during Roman Abramovich, but this shows great ambition, the right mindset. You know, they're not looking to, from what we're hearing, be a club like Man United, like Arsenal, that aren't really doing too well at the moment. They're focusing on a Liverpool-style approach under Klopp, which has worked wonders. They've kept up with Man City. Sure, they've only won one title, one Champions League, a couple of cups. But overall, you're looking at a very, very intelligent outlook to the football, um, to the football recruitment. So this I'm very happy to hear. I hope that this is what actually happens and it's not just what they're saying because they know, you know, most of the UK media love Liverpool so we want to be like them um, and they're also, you know, performing well at the moment. They're not Man City because Man City are spending, of course, ridiculous amounts of money and winning four out of five titles in the last five years. Like, they just, they go and 
all at it at the moment. Liverpool keeping up with them with a much smaller budget and a, a top manager to sort of keep everything taken over. And that's what I like. And I think that's really good for Chelsea's future. We can hope, but I do think it will be good. Next here. So this is a Barcelona um, journalist that is reporting this. Um, obviously, as you can see here, coming from the Barca Times. But he says, Leeds wants around 50 to 55 million euros for Rafinha. Complicated case. So at the moment, it's, you know, Barcelona aren't really capable of offering that kind of money from what we understand. It's not, they, they just don't have the financial power, right? However, Chelsea, looking for a winger, potentially, if Ziyech goes, if Timo Werner goes, if Pulisic goes, whatever it's going to be. I don't think Pulisic will, but if any of those other ones go, Chelsea will need to bring in some attacking recruitment. And if we take a look at some of Rafinha's stats, of course, he plays in the Premier League, so a lot of us are aware of what he is, but he's 25 years old, valued at about 36 million euros, so we're going to pay a little bit for premium on him, but acceptable given the player that he is, in my opinion. Left-footed, and of course plays on this right-hand side, can play on the left, his strengths are long shots, direct free kicks, playmaking, weaknesses can be uh, ball control and aerial duels. And then obviously looking at his stats for the season, 34 matches played, 34 started, 11 goals, 3 assists, and then looking at his percentages down here, a couple of duels, one stuff like that, but you really look in, uh, you know, the, the creative side of it, accurate passes, um, accurate crosses, all this sort of stuff, uh, big chances created 10. Overall, in that Leeds team, they nearly got relegated, getting 11 goals, 3 assists, that's pretty solid if you ask me, and obviously with the talent at Chelsea, you'd hope that he'd be able to improve on those sort of numbers, and maybe it's 15 goals you know depending on his style of course because we know that he he's great on the break right like he cutting inside off that left and then shooting from the edge of the box that's Rafinha's Rafinha's better bread and butter or linking up with an attacker a couple of one twos he's very good in that regard however Chelsea being the team that we are a lot of teams set up a low block against us so is he going to be as effective in this sort of team who knows but if there is interest from Chelsea that we've have heard recently saying that they want a player like Rafinha, a goal-scoring winger, then maybe you know, he's Premier League proven, we know he can do it at Leeds, why can't he do it at Chelsea? And I think this would be a very good purchase for Chelsea if we can get it done for about 50 million, that's in euros, so somewhere around that region in pounds, I'd be happy with that. I'm intrigued to see what you guys think on this one because I think there'll be people that say Rafinha, not quite the level that Chelsea want to go for, let's go for uh, Ousman Dembele, but if we take a look at the injury record, he had one stint of injury, and other than that, has been very solid. So for me, Rafinha would be a very good choice. That is going to be the end of the video though, guys. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on it. Hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. And hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.